Hi guys, welcome to Quartz Rose Tarot. This is Barbara. Please keep in mind that these are all general readings and they will not resonate with everyone. They are not gender specific and they can resonate in reverse. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. I give away two three question readings every week. If you're interested, comment down below Quartz Rose Tarot giveaway and and if I select you, I will respond to your post. Um, like always, uh, if you're interested in a reading with me, all of my information is listed in the description box below. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, hit that notification bell so that you're notified when new content comes out. And with that, stick around and let's see where this goes. Welcome Virgo and Cross Watchers. This is your general love reading for September 16th through the 23rd. Virgo, I'm going to get your energy, then I'm going to get the energy of all 12 signs, then I'm going to get your oracle cards, and then we'll get into your reading, and I'll clarify that for you. So with that, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, give me some clarity and guidance. What is the energy for Virgo the week of September 16th through the 23rd, please? Okay, Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance. What is the energy of Virgo, the week of September 16th through the 23rd, please? Okay, you got the Magician. So you could be manifesting something, um, but we'll clarify that and see what that is. So Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, give me the clarity for the energy of all 12 signs. Um, if you're dealing with an Aries... Somebody's wanting wish fulfillment. If you're dealing with a Taurus, somebody may be moving on. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, somebody is rushing towards you to speak a truth or a fight. If you're dealing with a Cancer, Three of Pentacles, somebody may be wanting to work and collaborate for success. If you're dealing with a Leo, somebody wants passion with you. If you're dealing with another Virgo, Someone's going to speak the truth. If you're dealing with a Libra, somebody is out in the cold. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, you got the Emperor. Someone's taking control, standing in their power. Um, this also is somebody's very stubborn, set in their ways. Divine masculine energy. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, something causes this tower to fall. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, there's a lot of burden. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, someone's being strategic, not showing emotion. If you're dealing with a Pisces, somebody's wanting to take a leap of faith. So Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance, why is Virgo the Magician? Why is Virgo the Magician this week, please? Queen of Wands, you're manifesting a hottie. <laughs> Does that make sense? You ma you're manifesting somebody who is uh, beautiful, intelligent, confident. You're manifesting a hottie. That's masculine or ma a male or female. You're manifesting someone who's passionate, outgoing. Yeah, going for what she wants or he wants. So you're dealing with an Aries someone's trying to block your happiness if you're dealing with a Taurus someone's waiting to walk away or to move on if you're dealing with a Gemini um, somebody's going there's going to be a fight because somebody had options if you're dealing with a cancer six of Pentacles three of Pentacles so equal give and take. Uh, you were breadcrumbing. This is you breadcrumb somebody for a third party, or they breadcrumbed you for a third party. If you if you're dealing with a Leo, someone's anxious to have this new beginning of passion with you. If you're dealing with another Virgo, um, there's an ending, so something new can begin because a truth was spoken. 
if you're dealing with a Libra. Uh, King of Wands is out in the cold. So somebody who is charismatic, good looking, is out in the cold. If you're dealing with a, a Scorpio, someone's holding on to their power. They're um, taking control and holding back or holding on. If you're dealing with uh, communication brings down this tower, this might be a really, so this is quick movement too, but I'm getting it's communication brings down this tower. So there was something that's being said that's really going to cause an, an uproar. Something's going to be very sudden and shocking. If you're dealing with a Capricorn. There's a lot of strife, jealousy, and competition causing burden. A lot of drama causing burden. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, someone's wanting to fight for someone who's single. This person's single and abundant, and, and the King of Swords is wanting to fight for it. Um, wanting to, he's being logical. He's being, he's got a plan, strategic about it, about how to maybe get you back. If you're dealing with a Pisces, somebody's moving forward. They're, they're taking a leap of faith. Somebody's moving on. This could be also non-committal moving on. So Virgo, you're manifesting a hottie this week. You know, she's standing there almost like, it's almost like a beach scene, you know. She's got her little bathing suit on or whatever, looking hot. So this is manifesting the Queen of Wands. So let's get into your oracles and see where it goes for you. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know, please? What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know, please? You got angels. Your angels are guiding you. And protecting you on your spiritual journey. Under the bottom of the deck. Marriage. You are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. Virgo. You're manifesting your hottie. You want to get hitched. Holy Spirit, angel, spirits, and guides. Clarity and guidance for Virgo. Okay, I'm going to take that one. You got wonders. And you, you got delight. Wonders and delight. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Virgo. Take a chance on love. When you love, our lives change forever. Okay, so... Under the bottom of the deck, focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. Holy Spirit, angel, spirits, and guides, clarity and guidance. For Virgo, please. Show the world who you really are. What do you need to release? There's something around you that you need to let go of. Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance. What does Virgo need to know, please? You got letting go. What do you need to let go of? What do you need to release? I should have taken the one on the bottom, but. Commitment. Commitment. You got commitment with the marriage, too. So is there a marriage around you? That, there's something that you need to release? Is it a, is it a partner? Is it. You'll know, you'll know whatever it is for you, Virgo. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. Okay. They're wanting you to stay grounded. First chakra. And yin and yang. So you, you have a twin around you. 
Um, so you may have a twin flame. You may be releasing a karmic to go towards a twin. They want you to stay grounded, though. Base chakra. Archangel Michael. Open up that base chakra. Base chakra helps money come to you, too, as well. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance. What does Virgo need to know here, please? What does Virgo need to know? Okay, break, break, breaking trail. A breakthrough is at hand. Under the bottom of the deck. Rainbow blessings. Blessings are showing you are showering you, showering your life, sorry. It's kind of ill-lit over here and I'm blind as a bat. So blessings are, show, are showering your life and breakthrough is at hand. Maybe you're, you're having an awakening, you're having a breakthrough. You're starting to get it, you're starting to wake up to something. You need to release something, though. You need to let go of something. There's a lot of passion here. And again, with a wedding. Wow. Virgo, you're going to get hitched. There's some a lot of love around here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance. What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know, please? Butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child and grow, growing. Okay. You're, you're taking it to the next level. Healing heart. Okay. Heal from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationships or addictions. So you're letting go of something that was toxic. You're needing to heal from it. And uh, you're just, I, I just see you're moving on, moving to the next level with somebody. Once you release whatever it is that you need to release, you're going to be moving on to your happiness. So take it how it resonates for you. Um, everybody's story is different, but you do, you have commitment. You have re you needing to release something though. There's something here that needs to be released for you to have what you want. Wonders and, and delight. Something's going to make you very happy. You're being guided. You're being guided, so you're going to know what it is. So let's get into this and see where your reading goes. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance. Or Virgo. What does Virgo need to know in this situation? What does Virgo need to know in this situation, please? What does Virgo need to know? Virgo, you got balance. You're trying to balance something out. There's going to be an emotional message. Something that's hidden. Illusion, confusion, um, strong emotions about an empress. See, I told you you had a twin around you. It's going to cause some kind of a tower moment. Because you feel backstabbed and betrayed in a situation, or somebody else does. You have a relationship around you um, that's toxic. The toxic relationship. You gotta let go of the karmic to have your empress. So something that's taken a long time because it had to do with the passion. You were there for a good time, not a long time. You may have been self-medicating with the King of Cups, and uh, now you want to offer your cup to somebody. You want to you want to date somebody, or you want to come in towards somebody with an offer of love, a love a love offer. The obstacle, new beginning in love. Queen of Swords, being strategic, uh, not showing emotion, but there's there's a lot of there's a new beginning in love. That sword be, can be used to cut something out as well. The outcome is the Seven of Pentacles. You're looking at the past, being patient How about moving forward. Now let's clarify this. Why are you? Why is the Temperance card here? That's a soulmate card. That's about a soulmate being patient or 
um, trying to find balance, trying to find balance in the chaos is what I'm getting. That's what they're just saying. Balance in the chaos. Five of one, strife, jealousy, competition, and drama. Trying to ba balance the chaos. Um, there's going to be an emotional message. Queen of wands. So the emo you're going to hear from a queen of wands. This is an Aries Leo. Sag energy. Someone confident. Um, wanting to take a leap of faith. Wanting to move forward with you. Um, if you're not dealing with and Aries, Leo, or Sag, that would be a third party here, okay? Um, I see two different women on the board already. So, actually, I see three, but we'll see which one this is. Um, you have the, um, the moon card. What's hidden? Somebody's feeling stuck and bound. Um, why are they stuck and bound in an illusion? They're feeling stuck and bound in something. It's hidden. There's a secret they feel stuck up in their head about, and they want to move past it. They want to move forward. They want to move on is what I'm getting. You have the Empress here. Manifesting Empress. Five of... Oh, no. Ew. I don't know that this Empress is the one doing this, but this... This could be being done to the Empress, if you are the Empress. Okay, you have the Empress here, but then you got magic, and you got mind games. You got magic mind games and somebody wanting to win at all costs using magic. So, the Empress doesn't do that. I, I'm just saying the Empress energy is that of somebody who is very, you know, solid. She's got everything she needs. She's not somebody who needs to fight with magic to get what she wants. So this may be being done to you, Virgo, if you're the empress. Somebody's trying to win at all costs. They're manifesting a victory with you. They're trying to win at all costs. There's a tower moment here. about because somebody wants a be new beginning and somebody was juggling is juggling a broken heart so some the tower is somebody's juggling a broken heart and somebody wants a new beginning um so it's two people so somebody somebody wants a new beginning and the other person is you know having a you know they're they're broken hearted they're they're trying to deal with the broken heart someone's feeling backstabbed and betrayed here um because of deception And the, the light's been shed on some deception. That's why they feel betrayed. Now you have, a, you have a toxic relationship here. Yeah, you have a relationship where there was a choice between two. And you have something that's very toxic. So strength and the devil. So something that's very, very toxic. And it probably has to do with somebody doing magic here. So you feel like it's taken a long time for you to get where you're at, okay? You're trying to be strategic about what you're doing, and, and you're very unhappy about the situation. It's taken a long time for something to get off the off the ground. Um, there's um, somebody here that's there for a good time, not a long time. Uh, Queen of Pentacles. Um, that's, that's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Someone who's very solid, stable, dependable. And let's see why that is. There's an ending. Okay, so you, this player, whoever's the player is ending it with you. Okay, keep in mind, Virgo, the minor arcana for the Queen of Pentacles. She's the Empress. The minor arcana of, of the Queen of Pentacles is the, is the Empress, okay? Or she is the Empress in the minor arcana the Queen of Pentacles is. That's what I'm trying to say. So you and and the minor arcana or the the lowest vibration of the emperor is the knight of wands for me as a reader and and what's in the middle is the king of wands now you've got the king of wands and you've got the uh, knight of wands on the board you don't have the emperor yet but you did have the yin and yang card so there is a this is a twin um, so you, there's an ending here why is there an ending or a transformation probably a transformation. 
somebody's needing to cut something out, making a head over heart decision for justice. Okay. And then you have the King of Cups, somebody who's to be, and the King of Wands. Okay, there he is. Okay, so, and the King of Pentacles. This is the energy of one person. Somebody's mastered his emotions, but could be, could be, um, you know, drinking too much, you know, self-medicating. Um, but he's very confident. It's kind of cocky. I'm getting a very cocky energy with this. Um, King of Wands energy. Um, but he's also stable. So, you know, here you are. You're topping him off. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're, you're, top, you're topping it off. But this is somebody who's mastered his emotions. But he could be medicating himself, drinking too much. He's got a lot of confidence. I mean, to the point of this guy is cocky. Okay, and and he's stable, could be a boss, could be, you know, um, he's grounded. You know, he's this is we're 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 one away from having all four kings, which would be the emperor. Okay, but you're very guarded and defensive about something. You're building up a wall because of something. Why is that wall being built? You're guarded and defensive, needing to heal. That's what it is. You're just needing to heal something. You want to offer your cup to somebody. You want love. You want something to end so something new can begin. And you're communicating um, and using your intuition I mean, about a relationship. That's what I'm getting out of that. Your obstacle is a new beginning in love with the Queen of Swords. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This person strategic, doesn't show emotion. But that sword can be there for cutting something out. But it's somebody from your past. There's a lot of love there between you and somebody from your past. Uh, but this person's being very strategic about something. It could be this person who's doing the magic. Wanting to win at all costs. Manipulating. Using manipulation or magic to win at all costs. Now, here, you're looking at the past the mistakes that were made, having to be patient on how you're going to move forward to your wish fulfillment. Emperor, there you are. Okay, you got the Empress and the Emperor on the board here. Okay, so taking control of the situation. This is taking control of the situation. I do see that somebody's trying to pull you back. Someone's trying to pull you back into the burden. But the wheel's turning because there was nothing but breadcrumbs there. You want this victory. You want something that's long-term and committed. You want to work on something, okay? There's a passionate message. You know somebody's watching you very anxious because there, there's somebody else involved in the situation. They need to recover. There's some regret. So we're going to take this over into the extended. I'm going to read. You on one side, your person on the other, and flip it, switch it, however it resonates with you. I'll get you some more oracle cards, and we will uh, clarify your spread. So with that, if this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you over in Vimeo for the extended.